Howdy folks, good morning. Yes, I'm back again at Kenzone One Stop Auto Care in Klana Jaya PJ. Actually, no, there's nothing wrong with the Mercedes. Just decided to bring her out for a little bit of a drive and gonna get her washed in a little while. It's been raining every day, twice sometimes. So yes, she's getting a bit dirty. Somebody was saying silver hides dirt. Yes, I think it was uh, Go. Yeah, KW, are you watching? <laughs> but yes, you're right. It does hide dirt very well. This car is actually very, very dirty, as you can see. Look at that. Yeah. So anyway, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm so happy today to actually see this. Yes, congratulations to my viewer who actually I met here a few days ago. He bought this Saga, 1985 Saga. <laughs> yes. And uh, after watching my uh, Saga of the Saga videos, he is restoring this Saga. He's already got a brand new bumper or recon bumper because this one's taken a bit of a knock. Don't forget, yeah, these old Sagas had bumper bussy, yeah, not, not plastic. So that's a dent. It's not broken, it's dented. And instead of knocking it out, he's got a new bumper for it, which is going to go on soon after he gets it mechanically sorted, which is awesome. Look at that. Magma engine. So yes, these are new uh, spark plug leads, which I think came with the car. I'm not sure. But yes, an original Saga Magma. Look at that. How cool is that? Want to see the uh, engine code? Let me show you the engine code. 4G15, model C22A. So yes, it's a fixer-upper. And uh, obviously this is not the original grill because this car should have had the same grill as mine, but it's okay, it's a Magma grill. And uh, once, of course, he has sorted out all the mechanical and electrical stuff, he's going to get it painted. I hope he goes to Ake because uh, Ake did my Saga and my Saga is beautiful. And it's right next to my Mitsubishi right here. Yes, the engine cleaning was done already, as you can see. Today, we're going to do the oil change. I'm going for Kestrel Magnatech because it's an older car. And uh, Magnatech is really good for older cars. Yeah. So anyway, here's the Saga. So another Saga of the Saga. For a viewer of mine, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. Uh, yes, you know who you are. Some new new parts have gone in already. Very proud of you. Thank you so much. I was really, really happy when I saw this. Very happy because it's like, you know, you, you, you see a video of mine and you get inspired to do the same. That makes me extremely happy. Yes, all four wheels have the center caps. Ta-da! And it's uh, the original interior. Look at that, with the original steering wheel and the Chris gear knob as well. Look at that. Very, very nice. That's the meter that I finally got into my car, which uh, I found later. So nice. It's really great to see this because it's like the day I picked up my saga in Kedah, in Kuala Narang, Kedah. That's how I felt. Look at the door cards. They're all matching the doors as well. So yes, I will be the first to admit this car has a fully matching interior, unlike mine. So that's a plus straight up already. I mean, let's take a look at the, oh, it's locked. Let's take a look at the inside. I'm sure he's going to get central locking all done. He can do that at Procast. There's a 10% discount for all of you who want to do that. But yes, it's, oh, oh man, this is beautiful. This is nice. Bro, if you one day come back and see my interior in your car and your interior in my car, it was just, you know, freak of nature, fluke of luck. I didn't do it, but yes, there we go. There's the original interior of the Saga. This can all be cleaned. It's not ripped or anything. Nice. So yes, typically, unfortunately, rust spots, this can all be taken care of. Sometimes they will just replace the whole boot lid, yeah? They'll replace the whole boot lid. This has got the uh, body stripes originally, and it's also got well, this has come off already, but uh, I'm not sure if this is a retrofit, but as you can see, yes, some rust here and there, but definitely can be taken care of, definitely can be done. There's no holes here. These are not holes, it's just uh, uh, scrapes and scratches. Wow, I love to see this. I love seeing this because this is like original and oh, here we go. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Coconut husk, yes. This is Serabut ke Kelapa. I almost said Kepala again. Serabut Kelapa in the seats. Look at that. They don't do this anymore. And that's why old cars have such a unique smell. So yes, typically this part will be worn and this part will be worn because this is where you get the most action right here. Yeah, this is where the seat gets most of the ass action. So right there. Yeah, I could have put that better. But yes, it's got the Chris gear knob. Look at that. 
and the original steering wheel. Lovely. Nice. So, so, so nice. So nice. Cool. So, congratulations. You know who you are. Congratulations on this car. This is lovely and it's, I'm sure, having met you and spoken to you, I am sure it's going to be epic once it's done. Original magma engines are more. Nice. Remember this part? I retrofitted it myself. <laughs> yeah, every single time I've seen this is missing because I think uh, they want more air to go in. But the danger of that, uh, doing that, is look at where the intake is. It's right above the heat shield. So you're gonna get a lot of hot air coming up here and going into the engine, which is no good. That's why there is actually a hose that goes to here, right here, to get more cooler air straight in to the engine, yeah. Hot air and engine don't mix. That's why your car, especially an old school car, always feels so much better to drive after an evening rain. When it, the, the, the night air is cool and dense, the car will feel so much better to drive. I know it works for old school cars, maybe newer cars doesn't really matter, but yes, for older cars, night dense air after a rain is brilliant. And that's what I did with the Alfetta a few nights ago. Stay tuned for that video. In the meantime, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the oil change for the uh, Mitsubishi. Yeah, I'm very curious about how the engine oil degraded so badly in just a couple of months. Yeah, anyway, Magnatech to the rescue. So here we go folks, Castro Magnatech. Yes, I am taking advantage of the promotion currently at Kenzone in Klanajaya. 150 ringgit or 130 ringgit for the oil, the oil filter, later another wash and uh, vacuum and uh, alignment and balancing, all in, all in, one price. So yes, I'm gonna drain the oil out instead of sucking the oil out. There's two ways you can do this. You can open the lug nut at the bottom of the engine sump and let all the oil come out or you can get it sucked out. There's no right or wrong in either. It's just a matter of preference. Sometimes I would recommend you get it all sucked out because the uh, sediments at the bottom might actually uh, not come out when you just uh, release the lug nut, right? So if you suck it out, it's like vacuuming the inside of your engine. But in this instance, I'm gonna get it uh, drained out because I just started up the car and the sediments have all um, kind of like, you know, floated around and I want to see with my own eyes how bad this oil is uh, that's currently in the engine because like I said, I'm very, very perplexed on why it turned black so fast. I'm not saying it should be golden its whole life, but uh, this one turned black very fast and, and that, that's a bit worrying to me. And it also smelled burnt, which is even more worrying. So that's why I didn't like that. So anyway, stay tuned, more to come. So yep, the moment of truth, giving the oil out. Oh, why is it so black? This is ridiculous. Look at that. And you know what? It, uh, it smells funny. It smells... Yeah, it smells burnt. So yeah, be careful what kind of oil you use in your engine, especially for an old school car. Um, I, would, I would reckon the most you can go for is semi-sin. And uh, I would definitely recommend uh, mineral oil, actually. But after very few kilometers, for it to be this black, I mean, this is like Kopi O Kau Kau and I'm not referring to one of my viewers who has that same name, Kopi O Kau Kau but uh, this is terrible it's ridiculously bad actually so that's the new filter this is the new filter that will be going in there yes, you always have, you should change your oil filter every time you change your oil some people uh, do a two-in-one it's like uh, every second oil change they'll change your oil filter you know what, these are not expensive change your oil filter every time you change your oil. Uh, what he's doing now is actually cleaning the lug nut before he puts it back in there. And this is very important because you don't want to lose the treads of your lug nut there. And that's another reason why uh, vacuuming out the oil is uh, sometimes better than, you know, always opening this, always closing this. But for, in this instance, I wanted to see the oil myself. And uh, that's why I asked him to... Normally, normally you would do the vacuum, right? You will vacuum, yeah. vacuum. Uh, and that's also very good because you get all the uh, sediments that are down there. But this, okay, this is all coming out now and it's, uh, yeah, really horrible. I'm sorry, car. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did this to you. 
but uh, yeah then he'll clean up this part a bit before he puts the uh, uh, new oil filter back in because you don't want any sediments inside there as well. for the uh, new oil to go in this is a very nice side-by-side -side comparison I've mentioned many times in the past that the Saga has quite a few uh, parts from the uh, Mitsubishi Touring and uh, I can show you right now a few things that are uh, that are actually the same like for example the uh, when I opened the car door just now you saw the uh, seat adjustment it's exactly the same as the one inside the uh, Mitsubishi Galant Super Touring so in terms of actual vehicle they are basically the same just the Mitsubishi Touring is a little bit uh, longer because of that uh, black part there after the um, B pillar. So the C pillar has got a little bit more space and the windshield is a little bit more curve, curved. I'll show it to you in a second if I can get through here. Oh, full house here today, many many cars. But uh, here we go. So, so you see the back of the Mitsubishi, it's uh, curved. The glass is curved whereas this is quite straight and then there's that piece um, just there which uh, is a different color from this car and gives it a little bit more uh, interior room there we go so there we go that's the new uh, oil filter it's nicely tightened inside there you can see the scouring marks because he used uh, that tool that's on the floor there to tighten it and this is very important to get it really tight that you don't want leaks but as you can see he's cleaned up this area as well so okay new oil filter is in and time for the new blood to go inside let's do it <laughs> right so here we go the new oil is gonna go in what is this ah yeah bits and pieces of plastic and rubber they don't do very well in old cars so yeah that that uh, this kind of happens a bit of uh, obvious uh, I'm gonna point out the obvious here he removed the uh, oil filler cap already because something has to replace the oil that's coming out from the bottom of the engine and that of course is air so if you keep this closed it's not gonna leak out very very fast so of course he had to open that so here we go the new lifeblood is going in Castrol Magnatec I've used Castrol Magnatec before for a lot of my older cars and uh, it's very good. I have to admit, it's very good. If you want semi sin, there's also um, or fully sin. There's mobile and there's uh, Castrol Edge. So, yes, the golden oil of Castrol Magnetic. I'm sure this car is gonna appreciate this very, very much. Okay, he's checking the uh, level of the engine oil because you don't want to overfill your engine. That's one of the uh, things you don't want to do. You want to put just the right amount. Normally it's 4 litres, but uh, it's slightly less than 4 litres now. We'll start the engine and see. And uh, yes, the battery has been fully charged. And it's still good. They checked it. And one crank. One crank. Possibly one of the best and most reliable engines ever made by Mitsubishi and that is why it was used in the Saga after the Orion yeah pretty much Mitsubishi engines known Mitsubishi engines Smooth. yep so sure enough after starting the engine and checking the level four liters went in straight up I love it when it's just like that because I don't have to go and buy another extra litre or another two litres so just four litres and done. That's how quick it was. Oh that's it folks. Yes, new blood in the engine. Very happy about that and it took all of what 10 minutes. So come over here to Kenzone. The promotion is still going on. Show that you've liked and subscribed to my channel. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Get a very good deal on a service yeah including the oil filter which is excellent 
So yeah, four liters of Castrol Magnetec have gone in. I'm very happy about that. And a new oil filter. The 10 point service check was already done. So don't really need to do that. And uh, all that's left will be the uh, balancing and alignment. Wonderful. Yeah, so thank you for watching and stay tuned. Lots more to come. Bye.